Heard there are supplies in the area and also uniforms. We What's going on, everyone? Bobby Bax here, and welcome to this round four matchup in Quarter Two's 1v1 tournament between the Shiv Prick and Believe That 18. Straight out of the block from Shiv, trying to land some shots. He got two body shots into Believe, but he can't quite get the third. Believe taking up some cover and managing to get out of the way. The reason for me referring to Mr. Shiv as Shiv Prick is because there has been quite a lot of controversy between these two contestants, which originally ended with them both getting disqualified uh, due to abusive messages sent between each other. However, Shiv Prick has continued to be a bit of a menace, uh, and as a consequence, to punish him even further, I'm allowing Believe That 18 to rejoin the tournament. So, as a consequence from this game, Believe That 18 okay. will progress regardless of the results. Uh, I do surprisingly have footage from both players, despite what happens towards to the halfway mark of this game, which you'll see. Believe That 18 getting the first execution of the game two minutes in. Shiv Prince coming straight back out of the spawn, Believe trying to catch him with a smoke bomb, which he does. Comes around the corner, but he can't quite finish Shiv off. Shiv is healing up, Believe coming in with some melee attacks and brings out the shorty. It's two body shots in, and Shiv chases him down to get that execution. Believe that 18 now crafting a Molotov smoke bomb comes in from Shiv. Doesn't land. Molotov gets a hit marker. Oh, nice one burst by Believe, and he regains his lead. Shiv comes camping here on the box, but he doesn't take advantage of it and gets shivved. A nice Dan Shiv from Believe That 18. The Shiv Prince gets shivved. How ironic. Oh, Shiv Prince again camping in the 24 hour hotline. Believe not knowing where he is. And the Shiv Prince comes out and gets the execution. Shiv Prince is playing very defensively here. Can't land some semi-automatic bullets. Smoke bomb comes in. Looks like Believe got out of the way. He's jumping into the back of the fire truck. Smoke bomb comes out from both participants. Shiv is the one that gets stunned. And Believe that takes full advantage of it, giving himself a two-spawn lead. Shiv Prince didn't seem to know where Believe was there. Believe trying to catch him off guard again, straight out of the spawn. Nice spawn trapping from Believe. He's got up on top of the ambulance, though, which is not always the best of moves. Aim down glitch coming. Believe is healing up, though, and I don't think Shiv Prince has healed up. Both players are going to be very badly hurt, and the shorty comes out, and I have no idea what the Shiv Prince was doing there, but he molotovved an already downed Believe. And killed himself. Oh, nice one burst from Believe. Straight in Shiv's face. And he keeps a three spawn lead. Spawn trapping again. Great control of the map from Believe that 18. Shiv Prince camping again. He switched to a burst. Manages to get the down. And pulls it back to within three again. Fairly close game this, but believe that is edging it and has been the better player. I'm not sure what Shiv Prince was doing there. It looked like he was just sat with his finger up his ass 
and I believe that 18 takes full advantage. Regains the four spawn lead. Shiv managing to get out of the way of the smoke bomb. Believe that has armor on now. He is fully bursted up, fully armored up. No chance for Shiv in that encounter. Smoke bomb comes in. Shiv Prince is sprinting away from Believe That, who gets another Dan Shiv. Fantastic. And the Shiv Prince leaves the game. As I said earlier, guys, bit of controversy around those two, but the Shiv Prince has been a bit of a menace throughout the tournament as a consequence disqualified and will potentially be banned again from participating in future tournaments. Believe That 18 was originally disqualified, but we have allowed him to come back because of the constant attitude given to me by the Shiv Prick. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all in the next one. Bye for now. Hi, I'm Vaughan Williams, and I know what you're thinking. What are you doing back? Well, I've been asked back because um, uh, no one else has been available to do a commentary. Uh, so I think the first thing that I've been told to say is that Specializer... Um, although you might have seen him being beaten by, believe, that 18 or something. Uh, a guy withdrew and there was a vote uh, on Bobby's Twitter. And obviously the specialiser uh, is a popular young lad because he's been invited back. Uh, so that's good. And yeah, like the bursts and stuff. Excellent. Uh, yeah, so I think the first thing probably to talk about today is that... Um, for those of you who do follow Bobby, and you should, I think it's at Bobby Barks on Twitter, uh, there's been quite a lot of talk uh, about banning the shorty uh, in this tournament because, um, well, it, it's just a bit boring to watch, to be honest. Um, here we go, some corner shooting, well done Specializer, and Jess and DC uh, has switched their loadouts, that's good. But um, be interested, um, well I wouldn't, but I think Bobby would be interested to see your thoughts on um, uh, on the banning of the shorty. I mean, personally, I'm not against it in principle, but I think that uh, one thing that we could think about doing is artificially increasing the loadout cost to say four points, and anyone who uses a shorty also has to submit uh, a screenshot of their loadout or keep it in at the beginning of the video, because um, Thankfully, this this is not an FN rules tournament. Like, the only thing that's more boring than playing FN is watching FN. It's just, it's a lot of camping and a lot of smokes. Shout outs to Grundig and Janus Maiden. Um, uh, so what's, what's going on here? Uh, so, uh, I don't even know what the score is. Specializer is, what, five spawns up uh, and has only died once. He should die now. Got good movement, Specializer. Uh, so, what else is there to talk about? Oh yeah, I've been asked by Sai the Sai 909 um, to uh, if you can subscribe to him. Shout out to Sai because uh, if people subscribe to him, he'll stop sending me his daily shiv spam, and it, it's just like tedious. To be honest, it's it's just like having a really polite stalker just constantly bursting into your living room, going, oh, look what we've got for you guys. It's more of me pressing triangle. Um, so what else should we talk about? Shout out to Checkpoint. Uh, it's a good map. Um, what have we got going on here? I also think, by the way, that um, if we ban the shorty, uh, and I'm sure that there's going to be a cacophony of cretinous children in the comments, um, going on about how it's rubbish and things. But if we ban the shorty, next it will be armor, then it will be molotovs, and this is meant to be like a fun tournament, I believe. And uh, I think too many people um, are too invested in it. Like, it, it, it's a tournament for a four-year-old game. There's no need to make things personal or get really wound up that XXX underscore danger pussy slayer is using a uh, shorty and bomb expert. Um, so what's going on with this game? Oh, I've got loads of time to go. Uh, Jess and DC now using a burst to reasonable effect. Um, more lone wolf. Yeah, so um, look at that. Go on. 
that's some of the worst burst work I've seen. For, like I've seen in this tournament, Specializer. I do apologise. Um, so, anything else to be said? Not really. Um, could probably do a film review. Um, I haven't seen Fast and the Furious 8, but I saw the trailer. It looked quite interesting. Um, in it, like they have a car chase, but they're being chased by a submarine. I mean, it really is a brave new world, if that's what's going on in films. Um, so let me know down in the comments what you thought of Fast and the Furious. Um, as I say, I haven't seen it, but I still think that's a pretty good film review. So, oh, what else is going on with this game? Um, oh, a shorty. That looked like a one burst to me. Um, this is the longest. There we go, finally. Uh, well done, Jess and DC. He also looks like, uh, well, I assume it's a he. Could be um, a her. Um... Uh, well, this person looks like they're a good player. That's that's a nice uh, long range one burst. Uh, a bit of all round movement. That move that you just saw Specializer do there has been uh, banned in FM because it means that you can run inf infinitely without being seen on the um, on the radar. Um, I'm sure you'll be seeing that in a Nick A30 top chicks and tricks video soon. Um. I don't really know. <clears throat> I don't really know what to say because, like, you know, we've we've all seen this before. Those of you who are enjoying this tournament um, will see that we've got um, two pretty high-level players, or at least players who understand the core mechanics of the game. Um, sort of, yeah. It's a bit of a corner shooting showdown at the moment. Um, if you are up against a corner shooter, try the full auto. It, it's very effective. You just literally sit there and spam it, and it sorts out a lot of these people. Um, so, Specializer, well in the lead still. Uh, it's like eight spawns up, I think. Um, seven. But, I mean, he's, he's had this game under control all match, and we fi we're finally starting to see some armor. Uh, I think Jess and Deese... Oh, yeah, Jess and DC got him. Sorry, I can't even read. I'm not even literate. Um, armor, 1x stick, shorty. Um, probably some mollies. Be nice to see um, some different weapons being used. I thought uh, that the crossbow would actually uh, be a good weapon in this tournament. Because um, you shoot someone with the crossbow, obviously there's the bleed out effect. Um, but also, even if they do heal, they're only at 70%. So um, I would have thought that that would be um, uh, a nice weapon to use. Oh, we can see some dancing there from Specializer. Jess and C DC has given up, so have I. Um, yeah, let us know about the shorty in the comments. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Shout out to you, Bobby. Um, bye. Oh,